right? So none of us have been to hell, so we, don't, we can't come back and give a report. So we're reliant upon what the Bible would say because God is the one who has created this and he gives us descriptions through uh, the apostles and preachers and uh, apostles and prophets and then Jesus himself. So if we take all the symbols, we have to understand that the, the biblical authors are trying to communicate something to us in a way that we can understand Oftentimes, these things are so weighty and so great that we can't even uh, fathom them with earthly comparisons, so we get pictures. And so if you boil down all the descriptions of hell, you have basically three categories. You have punishment, punishment over sin. You have destruction, uh, that is rendering something unuseful. And then you have banishment or separation. So those three pictures, whether we're talking about outer darkness, we're talking about fire, uh, separation from others, that, that really comes down to what we're talking about when we think about hell. So it's, it's probably helpful to look at a complete biblical teaching on hell and then see what the Bible teaches and how it is communicating to us about this doctrine.